This episode is brought to you by Crow's Craft Brewing Company. Crow's Craft, the nonconformist. Consumption of alcoholic beverage impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause detrimental health problems. Drink responsibly. This is Crow's Talk, and we've got with us our special guest, Mike Ataide. Hi, Mike. Hello, everybody. Hey, thanks for course, inviting me, guys. Hey, this is going to be a good show, man. It's going to be <laughs> casual. We're going to learn more about what you do and, you know, all the things that uh, surround you and your passions, man. And for us uh-huh. to learn, because, you know, we're also, you know, the craft guys out here. You've right, got an experience. Right. And there's so much I want to ask, right? And so many people oh, out there, my colleagues in the craft industry, you know, they have to know what they're up against, right? So we're going to do a lot of talking about that, right? So it's, it's going to be good to follow those who have been, you know, who've gone before us to really plow the whole street and figure out how, how things have to be done, especially in this country, right? Uh, you've so, done a great job, man. You've done a well, good job. Come on. We're, we're still not out of the freaking cave, but we're still there. You're a marketing wizard, okay? <laughs> By the way, Mike, John Joe over here. So he I'm Mike, with us. Uh, so yeah, so basically, Mike, you know, there's, you know, I, I, I've known you for some time. I've known your brother. We've been in right. school together and your big family like uh, a square boss, you know, I guess right. it's the time, you know, the, the sign of the times in the past to have a large family, right? You, 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 <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. But you know, we want to learn a lot about what it is that, you know, what you do and your passions. And you know, everyone, a lot of kids, and I mean, throughout all the different brackets of ages know you for football. <laughs> football, I mean, nationwide, right? Uh, and uh, yeah. I wanted to, to just to give an idea of uh, what it is you do. Let's see. Here we go. I want to share the screen. Let's see if what you can you see it. Here, okay. What are, what okay look at that. It's just a bunch of pictures. That oh I picked my God. Up, okay. <laughs> just to give an idea what Mike is about with the passion of football. And I, wow. you know, I, I must say, dude, you've been everywhere, right? <laughs> I mean, you have your own team. The leagues that you've you've gone through. Tell us about how this all began. Well, that's that's actually a great story. You know, um, I dabbled in in football, but it was basically for fun. I mean, you know, coming from San Agustin, it was something that you just you just did, and it was just there, right? But it was all for fun, not not very competitive. Um, and my kids, my kids, um, you know, decided, my kids decided, um, but my, my daughter and my youngest son decided that, you know, they wanted to get into football. Um, Mikey was with La Salle Zobel okay. at that time, and she, she had just joined the varsity program. Luis was in the club, okay, because we, we, were, we were not in the club that time. But it was just something, you know, not, not so serious, you know. It was just something, you know, yeah, that's your passion. I'll help you. Let's, let's do it. And one day, um, a guy knocks in my window. This is a true story. This is how okay. it began, man. A guy knocks in my window. And I, can't, I can't even remember his name, you know. And, and, and how long ago was this? I mean, uh, this was like... May, I'm, 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 you're, lo- you're talking about maybe... 12 years ago. Wow, okay. Maybe, maybe okay. Yeah, like, like 12 years ago, all right? And knocks on my window as I was dropping the kids in school and I was leaving. And he knocks on my window and he says, uh, I said, Mike, I says, um, can you help us? I said, uh, you know, help you with what, right? And he goes, <laughs> can you help me with what? I knew he was a parent, right? I, didn't wanna, yeah. I, was, I wasn't going to be rude, right? I said, well, help me in what? And he goes, well, you see, we, we just finished the election 
of our of the of the Dallas Alzabel Sports Foundation, and we don't have anybody taking care of football. It says your daughter's in the varsity program, right? I said, yeah. It says so. Why don't you be that person? I said, well, listen, if it's just to help, you know, it won't take much of my time. All right, sure, I'll do it. Right. So. <laughs> Yeah, right. right. It looked all up, not to my time. <laughs> not, not to my time. And you know, it, it was it was it was not easy. It was not easy because when I came in, uh, I will not go to the to the to the to the details. But when they asked me to come in, it was because I was there to fix a problem. It was even okay. worse than that. Oh, wow. You know? I mean, it's it was, not something from scratch. There was already a problem. There like, was okay, a problem. Come here, fix this. <laughs> Come here and, and fix this. We think you're the right person, right? Yeah. And, and um, yeah, I was able to to sort it out. Uh, you know, I stood my ground and and, and I, I said to 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 the other party, you know, it, it was it was just chaos, man. It was just chaos. You know, when you know when when uh, the parent association and the alumni association, it was just it was just chaos. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, and everyone, everyone seems to be in authority, right, around the football field. It's like you know exactly. those those soccer exactly. guys. Who wants to run the show? <laughs> and who wants to run the show? That's that's yeah. always the game, right? So, so I said, okay, fine. Listen, okay. Um, I don't want a medal. I said, I don't want a medal. You guys, you guys are good in the operations. I'll do the marketing. All right, I'll do the marketing. Nice. Fine. I'm the director for football. I'll do the marketing. So we start, we start going through this and, you know, um, looking at money-making activities. One of them is our football festival. I think one of the pictures you, you saw there, that was in Los yeah. Angeles. Yeah. Uh, that was a football festival. And uh, that, was, that was a funny experience because, you know, I was just about marketing. And, and um, in that event, we had chaos again. <laughs> I can just, you know, it's not easy. What, what yeah, you know, yeah, you know, working with kids and parents and coaches and teams. Yeah, all right, you, you took on a huge task. <laughs> it was, it was, it was crazy. And you know, I said these guys. I said, you know, that we were having problems because there was one team that had overage players, and these other guys, other team identified it, and 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 the head of the technical uh, <laughs> decides to run away. You know, and, and, and you know, run, just has to run away, abandon ship. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so funny. And um, of course, I had to resolve it. I had, I had, uh, it's all about the medals. You know, you just got to make sure that the kids are happy. Correct. So, you know, we just gave them medals and off they went and we continued. And after that, I said, no, no, I mean, uh, these guys need some help, man. I'm going to, I'm going to hold the bull by its horn. I'm going to have yeah, to run yeah, yeah, yeah. Run this run this well and so I spent I spent about five years in the sports foundation of La Salle three years as president and two as ex officio. Wow. So, so wow. I, I, I eventually run that and uh, yeah we, 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 we kind of grew it. We grew it from a you know small football event to to a mini Olympics where we had different sports you know competing and you know we had the coaches uh, organized and you know figure out ways that they can earn more. It was all part of that. And you know, imagine, the journey, imagine, man, but that, imagine, imagine a knock on the window, man. Yeah, I imagine. But the thing is, can you imagine now? I mean, usually summertime, you're busy, right? And now yeah, it's, correct. you know, football. What's going to happen to football, right? How long is it going to be? I mean, we watch, I just started watching La Liga again, right? And right. they have the, right. the fake fans all over the <laughs> The stadium, right? Not I mean, with, with Not speakers, inflatables. Huh? inflatables and speakers, you know, right. shouting and oh right. man, I mean, this is really a nightmare, right? But I know, I know. Wow, but I mean, Ceres, right? Uh, the team, right. and and and, right. and you, you even went as far as what Negros and all this Visayas. But we we did what what we did in 2016. Well, we. we when I, when I was in, in, in the Sports Foundation, I really saw that there was a lack of support uh, for the kids in the varsity program. They needed supplementary training. So the club system was so important. Right. And that's why I got into the club system because after the foundation, I said, okay, I'll focus on the club and provide what, you know, the, what additional that the school needs in terms of training hours, okay? Because six hours a week is not enough. It should be 10 hours a week. Anyway. So, so we got into the club system and 
um, we eventually started competing in the United Football League uh, youth competitions. Right. Summer as well. And eventually in 2016, we formed the Youth Football League Association of the Philippines, which is basically the, the, the only and the first youth club-based association in the Philippines, dedicated wow. only to club-based football. So nice. that's, that, that needed a league. And so, you know, we, we put up the YFL and uh, it, it grew, it grew. And, and, you know, more and more, more and more coaches, more and more uh, enthusiasts started putting up their own football clubs. And, you know, today we have, I think, in our database, like close to 5,000 kids. Wow. Competing. I mean, that's in preparation for the next club, you know, the, the older guys, right? It, it is but supposed I, to be. It yeah. is supposed to be. But um, I think that we are not there yet, okay? Because yeah. Yeah. There, is, there is no... It's, people talk, talk about step ladders. I think it's just total gap, you know? Um, right, club right. Based football here in the Philippines is, is, is something still new. And one of the reasons why it never really... Um, professional football never really was sustainable is because there was no solid youth foundation. Okay. So everything was school based, right? I mean, uh, you know, right. you get to UAP, you get to NCAA. Yeah, clubs, yeah. Clubs are just secondary, right? So the culture of football um, is we were we're able to bring it out. We're now we're now slowly bringing it. Well, I, well, I hope it'll keep on growing. You know, that's what we need. You know, I think it's ideal for us. It's not, I mean, enough basketball, right? I, there's nothing wrong with basketball, but I think football needs its time, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. with the Ascals and everything, you know, there was a following starting to grow, then it kind of waned. And now, you know, hopefully with the youth, what you're doing will have that longevity all throughout. Well, we're kind, we're kind of, you know, this year we're supposed to be, you know, we had big plans this year. Of course, I think anybody who has big plans this year has <laughs> nothing to do. Well, I know. <laughs> we, had, we had a lot of big plans, right, John Joe? Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and we all have nothing to do. Exactly. Well, let's move on. You know what? This is a segment that, you know, is a staple in crow stock, right? Uh, well, actually, this is a new segment, okay? This is called Then and Now. So exactly what we are talking about, right? So yeah. I just wanted to get your ideas on, uh, on this, on, on a number of things that we used to do then and what's going to happen now, okay? All right. Then, you would shake hands. Now, what would you do, Mike? <laughs> Bow. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was just in a meeting, but and then and I was they asked me just put their you know your hand. You know, there's so yeah. many ways, right? Sometimes right. I'm confused already, right? Is it like right. this? You go like this, or just you know do like the Japanese do? I right. mean, you know, it's it's come it's to true. think about it. You know, I just realized it. It's, you know what? The Japanese, even without the COVID, already had the mask on. Right. And yeah. even without the COVID, oh, yeah. they, they would bow. But there was no contact. No, so 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 two little. steps ahead. Yeah, exactly. Very little There's, hand movements. <laughs> they know something we don't, Father. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I think it, it worked. It worked, it right? Worked, it, it worked. So, I think so we follow different cultures. We evolve. Exactly. Here we go. You would say, bless you when a person sneezes. Now, what are you going to say? <laughs> Get away. <laughs> Why would you bless someone who's spreading germs? He can, would it, right? Exactly. <laughs> John, John Joe. Joe. Yeah. <laughs> you probably go slug the guy. Yeah. Exactly, right? Get away. What the, what the heck? Wait, wait a minute. John Joe, didn't you have your, your, your uncles are all La Salle also? Yeah, I'm La Salle. I'm from Zabel. I'm, I'm actually La Salle Football Club. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't want I don't want to say what year because it's gonna expose my age. <laughs> but yeah, I was a goalie. Old you know, Mike, man. Yeah. Mike, the Josephs. I'm sure you know the Josephs. Of course, right? of course. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. He's a Joseph. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. There you go. See, there's yeah. many Ronnie of the claims Josephs. to be the best player, so I don't know. Ronnie claims. <laughs> Uh, in my time, okay. yeah, boss, you were right. Basketball was overpowering soccer back in the early 90s. 
Exactly. Even today, I think. Even, even today, today, it's still there. Man. Still there. Okay. Yeah. You go to a concert. Now, what do we do? What do we do? Netflix it out? <laughs> I mean, uh, who's going to, you know what I mean? It's not the same vibe, right? Online I mean, like, concerts? Uh, yeah. You can't go to a concert, John Joe, with a mask, right? And gloves, but what's going to happen? Uh, depends what band you're going to watch. But uh, what's, <laughs> what, what's but, happening now is they're actually online co concerts and you pay to watch. And then yeah. some have uh, disco parties where you're invited to a room no full of people way. and they dance, yeah. You basically party yeah. alone. But, but wait, wait. I mean, oh, they're man. wearing clothes, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are rules. There are rules. There are oh, rules. Wait, wait. So they're dancing and you're watching them dancing in Zoom? Every, in everyone Zoom. is dancing, yeah. Okay. So but you're dancing there's... alone in your room. Yeah. There's, there's... <laughs> okay. Well, that's... Yeah. I did. Well, okay, wait. wait. The only way is to get another only way ticket. To get drunk. That's the only way. And then watch YouTube, man. That's the only way to do it. Exactly. John Joe, next time you get one of those tickets of that kind of concert, Throw me a ticket, but I gotta see that. I gotta, yes. I, I I gotta really experience a Zoom concert, by, right? I mean, mm. that's yeah, that's kind of hard. One for the books. Yeah, but it's yeah, but it's not. They tried it's gimmick. They tried doing the, Zoom comedy shows, and that yeah. didn't work out. That at all. It didn't work out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In you my, don't have the audience reaction. Out. Yeah, so, man. I I went. I I attended one. I even paid for it. Right. And I was just like, dude, it's it must be really tough for the you know yeah. the the guys up front, right? The guys, mm -hmm. who, you know, it's hard right. because you don't have the interaction. What are you gonna do, right? First of all, you can't have the crowd turn on all their mics because if right. if everyone's mic is on, it's a it's a nightmare, right? right? So how can you control that? Then if something is funny, what are you gonna do? Put the emoticon, laugh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My God. That's right. There's no way. So, so let's strange. move on. Just, Here we go. That's kind of strange. Let's see. Okay. The gym. I don't know. I'm not really a gym rat, so <laughs> I'd stay away from that. But you know, a lot of guys are totally stressed out because they can't go to the gym. You know what I mean? Those yeah. guys, can you imagine pre-COVID, if you were one of those guys who like had a, you know what I mean? They had an that instructor. The structure, they had an instructor, they had all of that. And then now it's just taken away, right? It's like, mm -hmm. oh man, that's a, that's a real, oh wow, you go crazy. Yeah, it's the gear really, because the gear is expensive to own on your, on your own at home. So yeah. what, what, what people are doing now is that they're doing plyometrics. They're doing their own running uh, activities, carrying weights like water bottles. Just trying to Just to, to match get that, that. To match that, yeah. No, there's a yeah. friend of mine who videos himself working out all the time, right? I see it in Facebook. <laughs> and, you know, and, and, and it's like, wow, man. You know, what you have to do just to get mm -hmm. your mind to that, that zone. Mike, I mean, what do you do on a daily basis? You, you drive, your, you, you get out, you have to get out, right? Well, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, on the exercise side, I think, I think there's so many things people can do. Yeah. Um, you just can't be a spoiled brat anymore and, and ask your, your instructor to be beside you to, uh, to aid you, you every step of the way and to stretch you right after. You have to, you know, you have to have that discipline discipline already so uh, I was I was I was uh, watching uh, uh, I don't know what I was watching in Netflix but uh, they're saying that staying fit is uh, just being able to to know the percentages right they're right. saying 80 percent is diet 20 percent is exercise correct okay. so so you know just because you're in the lockdown doesn't mean you can eat all you want and you still do your your exercise, you never right. do exercise, yeah. but now we do, like I do. I mean, you know, I, 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 there's no excuse. There's always there's 30 none. minutes. There's always there's 30 no. minutes available. Yeah. Right? Exactly, so exactly. Figure it out. I mean, you want to walk in place, you want to do plyometrics, you want to do Pilates. I mean, there's a lot of instructional videos, but know your age, yeah. okay? Know your yeah. age, man. I mean, don't do anything that's going to yeah. injure, injure you. <laughs> 
Okay. You know, because, but it's not just the body, it's the mind, right? This right. thing is really getting into people's this, you know what I mean? Right. How do you, you know, it's not like everyone has access to a shrink or a psychologist yeah. on call. But if, you know, if, if somebody can just, you know, John Joe, I guess if we just put that as an extra, you know, we'll get calls off the hook. You need to talk. <laughs> you will be surprised how oh, yeah. many people will call. Yeah. You will be surprised. It's serious, man. Yeah. It's serious. No, no, it's serious. It's yeah. serious. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, you can go crazy. I mean, you know, you, that's why there are people who have certain routines, right? I, I you know, I just have a routine and now it's like yeah, everything has changed. Yeah, yeah. 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 having a routine. So yeah. you know, we all have routine and we're all trying to I guess it's trying to get some work going, right? I mean um, in our case, in our case, uh, for for I'll jump back to football because you asked. Yeah, yeah, go, so no, please, please. Yeah. I didn't answer that question. I didn't answer what are we gonna do. Well, we we're, we're looking at, um, you know, we're negotiating with um, two service providers. Um, once that's done, we're going we're gonna go ahead. And right now, we're looking at e-games because e-games is a is a is a, wow. is a big thing. And you know, e, you know, so you know, e-games tie up with FIFA. FIFA loves it. And wait, you know, wait, 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 wait a minute. E-games is online yeah, yeah. gaming. It's with yeah, you and I. We're actually betting on it. We're talking about FIFA. Esports, yeah. 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 But, but wait. Right. So what happens to the real players? They'll play online. They'll play online. Oh yeah, they're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're kids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. They have teenage they can still categories, play. of course. Yeah, we won't, we yeah. won't let the teenagers compete with the with the younger ones. We have three age groups. It's quite interesting. We have, uh, I think, we have twelve and under, and then we have thirteen to seventeen, and have eighteen and older. That's so. And what, cool. do they, what do they do? They take care of their own icon, like their their player. And they join as their it's, key player. It's part of it. It's part of it. Yeah. You can even you can even put the name of your team over uh, FC Barcelona, you know, or, or nice. Madrid. No. Yeah. Of course, yeah. the players will still be the players that are that are uh, registered in FIFA. Right. In the right. FIFA game. No? So it's just the guy yeah. behind the console. Yeah, 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 the guy who's playing. It basically, you have to have a PS, PS4, PS, PS4, I think. PS4. Yeah. 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 That's, uh, That's super, super cool. cool. So that's where we're going right now, and to keep them keep them busy, maybe a couple of weekends. It's a running tournament, you know. We can we we have like 189 kids. They're gonna join, and then the next batch can come in and join again. I mean, at least you know, at least there's still some football, and FIFA is quite. I mean, the the the, the uh, PlayStation game FIFA, educational. You learn a whole aspect of the game, so it's it's really no. And, and Mike, I don't know if you noticed back then when you know football was like Nintendo, the you know it was oh my God. the, the oh way it is now. <laughs> Holy shit! You see the shadows of the ball, the movement of the player. Right. I mean, it's right. so realistic. It's unbelievable. I mean, the pace of the I, of the I, player. I was. It was quite encouraging because one of our directors in the YFL. Um, he's involved in um, the A League in Australia, and he said, "Guys, try this out. Check it out." And he, I watched the finals in, of the A League in Australia for for E Games. And how was it? Which is amazing, man. You watch you you watch their game. It's amazing. Exciting. You're, you're really exciting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so exciting. You know, you're so entertained. And, and, and you know and it's not real, but still, it's I exciting. Know, wow, it's I used so to watch exciting. those games like hours on end, though, with my friend. <laughs> Iken was telling me, exactly. Yeah, and then they even bet till, on the teams. They yeah, bet on the we'd teams. We'd stay up till 5 a.m. just betting on these guys <laughs> playing FIFA. Okay. You know what's nice about it is that it doesn't have to be the best player in the team who will excel in the e-games. That's what's okay. nice about it. Right, so, you right. Know, you, you, you know, the guy in the bench will probably be the champion. Yeah. yeah. I actually have a picture here of what you were talking about, uh, how FIFA then and now. See? That's, that's then and now. I, I remember playing it when it was then. <laughs> so look at that. Look at that. Look at the faces. It's exact. They got it to a T. Oh, uh, you have you have to watch one. I mean, you go, you look for a, 
I'm sure they have it. Is it on YouTube, YouTube, right? It's yeah, we could actually, I could put it on now. They, they stream 24-7. They, they stream it 24-7. Wow. So that's good. I mean, do you have to pay any kind of royalties, Mike, for FIFA to do this? Or we're it's not open? Sure. You know, I'm not, we're not too sure because according to them, FIFA doesn't really charge because it promotes um, the, the game. Yeah. The game. And at the same time, you know, it also helps PlayStation because I think kids would want to have their own like unit. Right here. Here. See, there you so, go. So, yeah, this, this is like live right now. This is live. So the, this is playing. This, this, yeah. is a, this is a tournament right now, right? Yeah. yeah this is what, what he can just, he just pulled up. An actual tournament, yeah, yeah. Brazil versus England. And they're playing. Solid. Yeah. Right? So Pare, it's look at their passing, huh? Yeah, exactly. I mean, pucha. You yeah, know, but you're right, Mike. A lot of the players will learn. They're gonna learn. They will learn. Right? They will learn. This is tactical. It's very tactical. You're right because the positioning, the passing, the right. whole structure of football. It's not like yeah, you don't just go to the ball no. like all the no. kids before. <laughs> No, I mean, and don't... one guy comes away with the ball, right? No, <laughs> the Nintendo, wala, <laughs> it's, it's, wala. Total crap, <laughs> man. <Nintendo. channel. laughs> exactly. But let's move on. Uh, okay, here we go. We've got... Okay, here's the question, right? So you just answered it, right? Back then, you'd play football. Now, e-football. E-football. E-games, yeah. E-games. That's the way that that's the wave of the future. I mean, I mean, let's face it. At yeah. least for now, until you can go back to the field, right? Okay, let's talk about your entrepreneurial activities, Mike. This is, <laughs> this is I mean, I'm You're just blowing. Uh, no, 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 no. because you you have done so much in your in your company. You you put out a lot of uh, products out there, and each one has a journey, right? I mean, right. you you took this. Was this one of the first products? Well, this is this is one of the the um, this is one of the first ready to drink product we've made. Okay, um, tell us about it. So, well, we we went to Palawan, and uh, you know, a bunch of crazy uh, uh, Singaporeans, myself, uh, my dad, and they said, "Hey, there's so much mangoes here in Palawan." Why don't we put up, put up a fruit processing uh, facility? So we did. And we did wow. it in, 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 in the, our property in Nara, Palawan, which is south, south of Puerto Princesa, about 82 kilometers along the main highway. Right. I said, all right, that's fine. I said, there's a lot of mangoes here. We can do, do it here. But I was kind of concerned because, you know, a facility and then you're only dependent on mangoes. And then... You know the farmers might not want to fruit their trees. So many, so many, so many things to worry about, right? So I said, okay, I'll do it, but I need a, I need a fallback. I said, I will plant guyabano, all right? Because when if we have, if we have, uh, if we have uh, guyabano, we know that there's a demand, and uh, you know we know that there are health benefits, and it's inevitable. Inevitably, yeah. people would want to want the product, so. Um, we did, we planted, uh, you know, we had our first location, second location. So we have basically two farms with, with uh, full grown guyabano right now, but you know, we didn't want to focus on the fruit because when we did the research, most of the health benefits is in the leaves. Really? So, See, so, I didn't know that. So we, we, you know, we, we broke our heads for about a year. It's really time talaga. We really take time. Here it's just taking care of the farm, having minimal people in the facility. Talagang really investing, investing. It took us a year to figure out the formula. You wow. Know, figure out the formula, you know, the right, the right. Um, um, you dry it. We have, we have solar dryers, aseptic solar dryers. Then the aging of the leaves, allowing it to ferment before we steep it or brew it. Wow. So that, 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 that took some time to learn because it's never been done before. And the one thing is discovering the recipe or the, the whole formula, and then right. you have to get it FDA approved. Right. That's a, right. That's a whole nother journey. So that took time too, you know? <laughs> it's, 
but I, so if you ask me, we're fairly new in the market. Um, we're, 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 you know, we're, we're in Mercury drug. It seems that Mercury likes the owners, the, the chairman likes the product. So it's Mercury drug. We have it in some supermarkets. Um, but as we were just getting to expand it and we had some, you know, this thing happens as well. Right? It's really yeah, good, yeah. especially with no, some but, scotch. But, but it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 he can say it's good with scotch. <laughs> oh, it's a killer. When you mix it with scotch, it's a killer, man. Wow. You will have amnesia. You will have amnesia for sure. Okay? <laughs> no, but, but what I mean, the thing is, wow, you, you pick something that the curve is just extreme, but uh, I mean, you know, usually somebody gets into something, hopefully the barrier is not too high, you get a product out quick and start selling, but you decided, but, uh, no, we're going to take our time, man. We're going to yeah, grow this tree. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Father. But it's patience, man. Patience. And then when, when, when we were, when we knew a little bit of what we were doing and I said, you know, the land where the factory is, is not very good because, you know, Palawan is known to have multi types of, 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 uh, of soil uh, and some can be highly mineralized and things like that or clayish. Right. So, you know, I said, okay, this is not good. So we went and looked for another location. So we had to look for another farm. And so, you know, imagine that process, right? Okay, farm one is not gonna knock it. Let's do farm two. So wow. we were very lucky with farm two, though. We were very lucky because that, that uh, you know, that really just blew Made up. the whole the thing. Buyabano was so suitable for the for the soil. Fantastic. But you you're not just talking about Buyabano. You've got all of these other products. I mean, let me let me ask you. I mean, a new product. Is it because it's related to another product you're working on? Or how does it, you know, you just said, oh, I'm just going to do this. Like the Landan extra virgin <laughs> coconut oil, baby oil. I mean, you know, because I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but every product means another FDA CPR, correct? I mean, yeah. those people who don't understand what it is right. like to deal right. with the FDA, right. it's... It's like, wow. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, that's why like, yeah. John Joe's giggling because yeah. for us, it took us forever to get you know, our beers with the proper FDA, uh, you know, licenses because it just takes too long, you know? Takes, so how was your journey, Mike? Well, you know, we, we the, the Guyabano side was, was our attempt to, introduced the Guyabano, HG Guyabano was our attempt to come into the ready to drink market because we were already in the beverage industry. Uh, we basically started as an OEM company. We produce um, juice powders for house brands of the retailers such as SNR, such as uh, Landers, such as uh, Robinsons. So, you know, producing all sorts of products like uh, Moringa citrus, um, turmeric uh, calamansi, uh, you know, lavender iced tea, chamomile iced tea. There's a whole range of products that start from fresh and we turn into powder. And, and that's, <laughs> this is just me monkeying around, man. <laughs> this, is, this is just monkeying around. This is, no. this is interesting. This is interesting. No, but, but that's the thing. It's like I, I'm blown away with you because you've got one product after another from healthy to liquor. I mean, but, look at this. I, I, a lot of people don't realize this is, this is you know, yeah, how can this be monkeying around? Man? This is, I, you know, I, I, I tell you. Tell me about it. Tell I, me I, about I, it. You, you know, the thing is, the thing is, um, it's just, when I okay, of, of uh, developing uh, juices and healthy products and things like that. It wasn't my main business, all right? Okay. I was, was, I was so should we call it the passion project? Right, it was, it was my fun. It was my fun. Yeah. I, had, I was doing okay being a commodities trader, right. but it's also my being a commodities trader that brought me to, 
you know, the beverage industry. So it was somewhat connected. And okay. when I saw that, you know, this was, could give me better margins, lower risk, and some cash flow, I said, okay, I'll focus on this, right? Okay. So, so the problem, problem with that being a passion, and this is something I'm sure you have a problem with also, Mari, <laughs> is that when do you stop? Right? <laughs> yeah. It's just, you it's can't, just, dude. It, it's you just can't. R and D, R and D is the fun part, right? Exactly. R and D is the fun exactly. part. You right? hit the nail on the head, man. Uh -huh. And and I and, and and I and I and I always tell newbies who come to me about you know I want to try you know aratilis you know it's a new thing right now I want to do something with aratilis and all of that. And I said, I said, you're in the coffee business. You're doing very well. I said, you know, been there, done that, man. Don't try, <laughs> don't, don't, don't try to, cre to, to create a new market that's not there. I yeah. said, you know, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. You know, we, 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 we did that. It's hard. And I think we just got lucky somewhat because of our timing. It's just right. timing. I think we just got lucky. I mean, you know, said, you know, let's make a, Malungay Kalamansi drink. You know, the first question we asked 10 years ago is, is who's going to drink it? Right? Who's going to drink this, right? And then let's say, no, let's not call it Malungay Kalamansi. Let's call it Moringa Citrus. There was a major wow, one. Wow, that sounds... And then, and then, yeah. The whole and then, thing changed. The, <laughs> the whole thing right? changes. <laughs> and, then, and then I said, then we said, okay, um, but, you know, where are we going to get all this Malungay extract powder? Nobody, you know, there's somebody maybe producing it. That guy closed shop. What's going to happen to us? We don't have raw material. So we had to do reverse engineering and really go down and say, okay, we'll make our raw materials. So, wow. that's, so that's how far back we had to go. Oh, wow. Okay. So even our turmeric calamansi or turmeric citrus, the one sold in Landers, is very different from the turmerics out there. Because, you know, we really, it's a process, right? We, how we turn right. extract into powder. It's very, very, very interesting. And then comes your question about, you know, wh what about this? So many FDA, so what about this? I'll tell you, you have byproducts. The problem is the byproducts, right? You feel sorry for these byproducts. And it becomes another, <laughs> it becomes another R&D adventure. Right? But in other words, you have these byproducts, you're thinking, I'm going to do something with this byproduct. Exactly. I'm not exactly. going to put this to waste. Exactly. I and mean, so like, that's like, how you develop the other products. That's other it. products. But not all of them. I mean, you have to, you know, you have to also learn not to uh, be too in love with the product. I mean, if it doesn't yeah. do well, just, hey, man. Let it go. Decide, let it go. Right? Yeah. You got to yeah. go where, where, what can give you cash flow. Correct, uh, that's, correct. that's that's where you have you have to focus. So I mean, that's the fuel of every business, right? I exactly, mean, but sometimes exactly. sometimes you're in love with the you know what you're doing, and it's just bleeding you like crazy, exactly. right? I exactly. mean, you know, Mike, I, we have we have this craft beer association, right? And you know, we get together, we chat, and everyone's just pouring out their salt. You know what I mean? They're Yes, they're, you know, we because we're having it bad, right? It's bad enough sure. that it's COVID, sure. right? And yeah. then you get the liquor ban. So we're just trying to swim upstream, man. This whole this know. whole time. I know. I know. Uh, it's it's no joke to be an entrepreneur, right? I mean, but yeah, clearly you've you've done I mean you've really done your research. You've looked at all the different products that you have, you're trying to go on you can right that, and, that's and, why we came up with the personal you. care products because that was an idea um can't forget I forget you said you have so many byproducts what are we going to do with this right right and, and, and then i can't forget my my, my brother-in-law was then uh, for me he said uh, why don't you just make personal care products out of it he said i have no idea what <laughs> a personal care product is to start with, right? And he, goes, <laughs> yeah. and, he, and he starts talking to me about body butter and things like that. And I said, oh my God, I'm even... So I go to my, I go to my food tech. I go to, um, um, I can't forget my, one of my head food, food tech. And I tell her, I said, uh, 
I said, okay, Nell, I said, uh, today you have to wear a different hat. I said, you have to learn this. You have to learn this completely, right? We'll give you some, some leads on, on what we think sells, one of, one of these products that sells, and, and let's go for it. And it just takes a life of its own, right? It takes a life of its own and just all of a sudden, you know, we're trying out. We didn't even know, we didn't even know. Um, we were learning how to make soaps, right? Even soaps, you know, our first run of the soaps, um, we, we were working with SM Cultura. I think that was one of the, we had a very good uh, partner because they were very supportive. They wanted right. us to expand their product lines with them and they were growing. So, you know, we, we even had soaps that were shrinking in the shelf. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it was, it was like learning, learning. Lang. Then le you know, we were learning. And yeah. then we, we learned, we learned, then we replaced, we improved, and things just got. And, you know, we, we've got some winners there. We have Fantastic. Some, some winners. So, how, how did you get into the, the liquor? So, that, yeah. you know, one day you decided, okay, I want to get into some. Uh, Liquor. Well, well this the, the, the liquor was was easy because we saw that a lot of you know uh, there was a need for traditional um, liquors, you know, um, spirits in SM Cultura. So right. we said, okay, why don't we we join that shelf and come up with our own? Okay. Um, we we had we process a lot of calamansi, the calamansi peel and pulp away. So let's ferment that. Right. We add a lot of uh, malungay, we process a lot of malungay leaf and we would throw the malungay pulp away and said, hey, let's ferment that. And wow. then, of course, uh, coconut is, you know, just because people love coconut, right? Yeah, exactly. So, but no, no, you have a good partner. I think that's one of the things. Now, if you're an entrepreneur, you have a good product, the, you know, the market will seek you and then that's it. You'll start growing with them. That's the important. They grow, yeah, that's, that's important. important. And try the market. Um, okay, this next segment, okay, is brought to you by our single malt. Wow. <laughs> wow. I just gotta put it in there, father. Wow, man. Hey, you look so serious here, bud. <laughs> you, so you, you don't realize, you don't realize I was actually laughing. <laughs> but then the guy told me, father, serious, the man, you're, you're trying to sell a single malt, man. <laughs> it, uh, you're, it's almost like I have to buy, I have, can't say no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, this one is called this or that. Okay, so basically you have to choose only one. Okay, not both. Okay, okay. I'll make John Joe choose as well. Okay, here we go. This or that? <laughs> what the hell is that, man? <laughs> well, you pick the, 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 the eagle or the archer. the archer? The archer, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Purposely made sure the eagle was in blue. Uh, okay. But then you have you still chose the green archer. The only way to show you got green flowing in your veins. Oh man, you cannot imagine. Okay, next. Next. Oh my god. Next. This or that? So you've got this, which is a whiskey, or is that? that? Oh, okay. Oh, there. All right. This or that? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm that now, you know. Oh, see, that's the thing, right? Again, we we were talking mm -hmm. about this the other time. It's not about uh, it's not about whether you like that only. It it's also on the mood. It has to go with the mood. Mm -hmm. Because you know, you know, you sometimes, know, you know, there's so many different kinds of beverage, right? right? I mean, you can't just say I'm a beer drinker or I like spirits. I right. mean, it, it, it will depend. I mean, there's sometimes your go-to is, is that nice ice cold, you know, beer and you just, you know, double A. Sometimes you just want something session or you're going to go for that, you know, whiskey, right? So it's, yeah. really, it's really your mood. In, in your case, is that something... Is there like a time of day or is it really just when you want it? I, I kind of like to have a beer. I, 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 feel, I believe in the old folk's tale that a beer is good for digestion. So I like to have a beer 
during dinner. Together with a meal? Yes. Oh. That's, uh, so, when do you drink uh, beer? Well, no, maybe all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even uh, for Marianne. You know, when, when, you're, when, you're in, when you're in quarantine, you're in lockdown, I mean, you know, you That's... can't be drinking beer lunchtime, man. I mean, it's kind of hard. Correct. Well, that's, that's, an, that's a never ending cycle. <laughs> well, because um, what I've noticed in the quarantine during my, my time with all this time is that it takes longer to finish a beer. So, parang time passes by longer rather than having uh, a small glass of whiskey that or than yeah. I would normally have. Yeah. But with the beer, you, you can also get busog. Yeah. 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 does that to you. Yeah, I've noticed more more cocktails and beers have been drank by most people rather than just drinking it, uh, eating it neat. Yeah. It's just an okay, Mike. Yes. The age-old question. Yes. This or that? Oh my God! <laughs> Darn, man. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I will say that. I will say that. Now, that is something I didn't expect. That, because most of the people I talk to always say this, right? Um, they go for messy. But, you know, I, it, it's hard, right? There's sometimes where you see messy, the art form of going through the people, right? Going through all the defense, just weaving. But then Cristiano also has his very his style his own style right right and and, and so what is you mr cristiano i i think i think um you know i think both of them are 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 talented talented players i i think that uh, messi is uh, is gifted i believe yeah. that messi is gifted he he you know he's born he was born you know to be to be this great player but you know Coming from from uh, youth development and, and and football as our as our media, you know, um, we we like to see the value of being able to create a being able to create a player and the hard work that you put in to become that great player. And I always believe that Ronaldo was a better example because okay. Ronaldo made Ronaldo. You know, Messi I... natural. Yeah, yeah, he had to really work for it. And right. his, I mean, right. he shows, he shows what he goes through each right. time, right, to make it happen. Yeah. I mean, he true. comes, he comes in earlier for training to do one-on-one -on -one sessions for agility, for for kicking accuracy. Um, saw, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a, that's I saw some videos of him kicking a free kick. Oh, the lights oh, off, like a lot of lights, lights off, off in the Boom. dark, and he's hitting this goal. Yeah, 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 exactly. They, they show cross, that off video. Off cross, yeah. the lights correct, off. correct. Correct. So, you know. Unbelievable. Okay, let's that's turn to fine. music. Mike, this is music. Oh, music. All right. Uh, this is a hard, this is a hard <laughs> one. Okay, <laughs> he has to take a swing first. All right, let's see. Music. Rolling Stones and Led Zeppelin. So, um, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm this, you know. I'm, I'm this. Oh. I'm you know, you know what's cool like... is that what's cool is Mike. They're still around. They're still playing. Exactly. I mean, of course, the other guys are exactly. well, except for the drummer. But you know, the son could play for his right. father. But you know, the Stones, they're they're like the living dead. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally, when you see them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, literally, I, I, you know, literally, dude, unbelievable. Watch these guys. I have I, I saw, uh, saw, Hello? Mm -hmm. uh, Go ahead. No, no, I, I saw I saw a recent picture of them coming down from the plane and all four of them were took a picture together side by side. And and you can literally see they're all in each other's shirt to keep themselves up, you know. <laughs> yeah, Keith Richards, man. You look at him, he's wrinkling up, but pala, wala. COVID. Ah, I, mean, I only rock them because I, I, there you I go. Them rolling, man. That's 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 what it's all about. Oh, right. for example, my Anohosequerbo ad, but yeah, look at them. Look at, at these guys. guys. 
<laughs> yup. <laughs> I'm going. Great grandfathers, man. man. Great grandfathers. <laughs> just unreal. This band is just unreal. You know what I mean? These guys. You know, and, and usually it's hard enough to stay together, right? As right, a band, right. you know. And these right. guys, they're just. What, how many years has it been? Thirty years? Forty years? These guys have Ooh, been together. Yeah. Since the 50s. In the 50s? Holy since the 50s. shit. These Holy guys, cow. In the late 50s, they were together. And the six, these guys have been around. Okay, oh, there's the real thing. Okay, thank oh, there, you. There, there, sorry, Direct. 1962. 62. Yeah. And Still, it's two, right? And it's that's 2020. Years. So do the math. Oh, wow. That's, that's just crazy, man. Those guys are years. unbelievable. I mean, so this is a point in time where money is just not anymore, you know? Take the gigs because they love it already. It's just like... I think it's to keep them going. Yeah, mm -hmm. No, you're I mean, right. You know, if, 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 they if they stop, stop now, you know, if they stop now, that's going to kill them. I think so. I think so. I think so. I think, you know, they're not the saying they want to die with their boots on. I think that's how it's going to be. <laughs> exactly, man. <laughs> the cowboys, exactly. man. That's why Rolling Stone, they keep rolling. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, there we go. Right, man. This <laughs> or that, father. <laughs> well, this guy, you know, we, we, we were just having a discussion about uh, Will Farrell uh, um, with, 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 uh, with Gabby, and, and, you know, he was telling me that. You know, there are there are people who hate him. You know, they don't. How they can don't you like, hate him? How can you hate this guy? Yeah, they don't like his kind of humor. I said he's nope. so brilliant. I was <laughs> having that same talk with Gab. <laughs> <laughs> because he keeps screaming. His humor is in oh. the the screaming. That's the common argument. Uh, uh, because he keeps screaming. Yeah. Okay. That, but he's funny that way. I guess. It's the same thing they say humor. about like Jim Carrey, right? That he's so he's exaggerated. Right. I like to right. think that those guys right. can do dramatic performances too. Yeah. Like, so much harder to do comedic performances, okay. and they do mm -hmm. it like that. So you gotta appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. 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 He's he's good. He's good, and you know he he really knows his craft. I mean. He's not only um, he's not only an actor comedian. He's also a producer. You know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. He really produces uh, good movies as well. I think yeah, yeah. He produced one recently. Well, except for the Sherlock Holmes, <laughs> and the one <laughs> and the one on Netflix right now. It's it's a so-so for for. What, what what was that? What's uh, the Eurovision. one that's <laughs> Yeah, and Eurovision. <laughs> Eurovision. He has a movie out called seen Holmes it. and Watson. I mean, it can always be funny. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It depends. It depends what mood you're in. It depends. Oh, what yeah. mood you're in. Yeah. I mean, you, you need to be in the reefer mood. You gotta be, <laughs> with Eurovision, you gotta you gotta be in his mindset. It's hilarious, man. I mean, yeah. The only, the only thing, it, you know, it's it's it it gets a little dragging at some point, right? Because mm -hmm. he might push it too far. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But the moments that he's funny, he's funny. And he's really funny. This guy is, yeah. And then him on SNL also. He's the best on Correct. SNL. Yeah. Correct. Oh, okay, but, but Mike. Nobody, nobody did justice to Chevy Chase. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Well, we're, we're, sorry, we're, we're Chevy. chasing time. So, sorry, Chevy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, of course. This Kalaman or that. Si, yeah. Yeah. Si. yeah, classic. A classic. Of course. Okay, this one. It's not, you got to just choose one. But I want to hear everyone. Pick their car, okay? Which car, Mike, would you choose if you had a chance to ride with one out today? Well, you know, I, 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 I'd go with the James Bond, I think. Oh, I like my other friends. I'd How about you? Uh, Zando. ATM. No. Definitely ATM. 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 Yeah. I'd go with uh, Starsky and Hutch. I'll go with the DeLorean of Back to the Future because I want to get the fuck out of this COVID mess. <laughs> That's good. Find me another century, dude. <laughs> I know, I know. God, man, I don't know. 
I mean, what the what? What so? What if you get all the other cars, but you're stuck with the COVID, right? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. If, if the Back to the Future car can really do that, I think uh, it's going to be an easy choice for all of us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Hey Mike, uh, this wait, is a segment. This what? is a seg. What? <laughs> we're doing this. Wait. <laughs> okay, we're, doing okay, this. Yeah, yeah. we're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. Mike, challenge. this is gross tails, right? So it's it's basically we're gonna show you uh, columns of ingredients. You pick one from each column, and okay. you're basically creating your own crow tail, right? Oh, okay. Crow tail, do it your own cocktail. Crow's cocktail. So oh, here nice. we go. Brought to you by Crow's Gin, of course. Yeah. Starts <laughs> here with we go. this, of course. Let's go. Pick a juice. Wow, with with the uh, gin. Yeah. Um, darn. Just you one. You can create your own. Huh? Just one. I mean, Just how one. many? How many can I have? Just one. One. Just one ingredient here. Yes. I've never tried it with Guyabano, so I'm gonna be, but, I'm gonna be on the safe side. Have you tried okay. it with Guyabano? I'm gonna be on the safe side, guys. Um, okay. I, I yeah. think I think I'll safe. Go with calamansi, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Calamansi, <laughs> nice, nice. Good choice, good choice. Okay, fresh fruit. Oh, with fresh fruits, huh? Okay, uh, oh, of course, you know, you know, a lot of people, gin and orange works, okay? Okay, so you're gonna go with the orange? Of course. All right, nice. Syrup, honey, sugar water, or maple? Okay. Um, sugar water, honey, or maple? Maybe honey. Honey, honey. Yeah. yeah, something different. Honey should work. Okay, what herb? Okay, I can't see the herbs, wait. Okay, that's basil, coriander, mint, lemongrass, ginger, or barley. I'll go for mint. You'll go for mint. That's interesting. Interesting. Yeah. John Joe, you're taking notes? I know. Thanks for giving me a hard time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be making these cocktails. <laughs> so, wait, so try, far, this, try. this chosen work. for juice, he chose calamansi. He for fresh chose fruit. an orange, orange. fruit. Right. He chose honey uh -huh. and he chose mint. Yep. Okay. All, all of the citrus side. Just okay. Citrus. Shaken or stirred? <laughs> Darn. Shaken or stirred? Uh, Is there going to be ice involved here? No. Yes, yeah. there will be. There yes. will be. Yes. Okay, then shaken. All right, nice. Because <laughs> you see, John Joe's gonna recreate that. What you oh, just, you know, your yeah. your Mike's cocktail is Crow's Tail of Mike will be recreated by John Joe and uploaded in our Crow's Bar segment. Wow. So you'll, you'll, we'll see. And you know, he's gonna rate it, huh? He's gonna give it a, <laughs> a yay or a nay. <laughs> Well, <laughs> uh, I, I gotta figure out how to make it first. That's why it's a challenge. I was, I was, I was really I hoping it, he was gonna I pick ginger. Safe. For yeah. ginger, yeah. it would have been for herb. It would have been ginger. I, I already had something in my mind, but mint is really hard to work with. But yeah, well, challenge I, accepted. Mint is a cool drink, you know. I mean, it's yeah, yeah. Hot and it's yeah. cool, right? So it's, no, that's right. That's good. That's a good. I think. I think you can make this work. Actually, it it sounds already. You know, pretty. It does. Good. It does. It does. Uh, yeah. Sayanga, also the the guyabano. If I could use your guyabano tea. Yeah, Sayanga. sure. But yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> I, I think I think it will work well with with gin better than yeah. than whiskey. <laughs> No, no, no. I think so too. I think so too. Yeah, so I, I mean, you know, at least John Joe gets to try it all out, right? So, right. but uh, that I gotta taste. <laughs> well, you know, Mike. It's you know we need more time, but that's you know no, it, that's, that's it just amazing. goes by so so fast, right? But yeah, you know we've learned a lot, uh, a lot about you know your journey with the football as an entrepreneur. Um, you know, there are a lot of people who watch, and and you know basically they have they have their own journeys, and you know I think. You know, when you love something, you know, just do it, right? You never right. know where it's gonna right. go. Right. Um, never be afraid you know, to try. You have exactly. to try. I hate yes. the point where you know you don't even try and you regret yeah, not trying. 
yeah. You know, it's if it's sensible, try it because yeah. you never learn. Yeah, learning, Definitely. man. Life is a learning journey. Exactly, exactly. You have to keep going on that trail. Um, and with that, <laughs> and with that, Mike, thank you so much for joining us. No, thank ah. you for inviting me, guys. Thank you. Here's much my bow. Good luck, good luck, man. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers.